Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Well, this is my 10th time machine that I built. Uh, it's a Back to the Future Part 2 time machine. Uh, as you can see, it's all lights up, got all of its bells and whistles just like the original car. Uh, it has LED fluorescent lighting in the, in the back for the flux tube. Got the flux capacitor back there fluxing. Going back to the dash, you got the time circuits in that you can actually program in your destination time. The center part will keep real time. All the rear vents and everything just like the original car. Uh, I did add a little speaker back here that'll play Back to the Future music during car shows, things like that. This will shoot out smoke out the back. And also there's a smoke machine inside that fills up the inside with smoke during, for car shows. And everything just filled in just like, just like the original movie. But here's where all my smoke machine stuff is. So. This will actually have a lot of the voices and things like that in Back to the Future, just at one push of a button. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Kind of fun to play with going to car shows with that. I 15 år har Danny jobbat med DeLoreans, eller andras leksaker som han själv uttrycker det. Det han har märkt genom åren är hur DeLorean-ägarna verkligen älskar att bry sig om sina bilar, till skillnad från på hans förra jobb. I used to work at uh, a Chevrolet Pontiac dealerships when I was younger and you know it's a completely different type of customer back at the dealership they want it real fast cheap done they don't really care about their cars but nobody has a passion for their cars more than DeLorean owners. Men sen var det ju frågan om motorn som får tag i mycket oförtjänt skitsnack genom åren att den ska vara dålig. Well, I don't think it is. I think it's a really good engine. It's probably the best oiling engine I've ever seen in my life. Um, the only thing, the reason why people say that is because, you know, they expected a little bit more out of John DeLorean. He was the father of the muscle car. Uh, he came out with this engine, and it's a little underpowered for what people expected. It really wasn't for the time. 130 horsepower was about average for the time in 19, early 80s. Men som med alla motorer så går de med att trimma, och det är ett relativt snabbt och enkelt ingrepp i olika steg. And that's what this one is, and you can go into this one real quick. As you see there, this is a stage two DeLorean engine. It has ported polished heads, uh, performance cams, and all new stainless steel dual exhaust. Really whatever DeLorean should have had day one. Det är inte så många vet är att John DeLorean faktiskt han tillverkat två riktigt kraftfulla DeLorean prototyper med dubbelturbo. John DeLorean sent two cars off to Legend Turbo to get, a, get two of them done because he knew he needed a faster car. He knew he needed a power. Uh, but unfortunately they never came to fast. I mean there are two of them out there, the prototypes. But the company didn't stay long enough for John to do the things he wanted to do with it. Några DeLorean ägare har faktiskt bytt till snabbare motorer genom åren. Ett ingrepp som Danny inte längre tar på sig. Uh, my last one was a, um, a uh, GM Vortec 4.3 liter engine. And that thing boasted out by 300 horsepower. I can actually lift the tires off the ground. Um, but other people's done the LS1. I've seen even a Cadillac North Star, rotary engines. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of different engines. You've got a lot of room to do it. This is a big engine compartment. And so you, you can play with it any way you want. I got another guy who's actually putting in a, uh, a V12 Jaguar motor in one. Men att byta motor förstör på många sätt de här bilarna. You do ruin some of the handling and things like that. Um, you know, I don't think there's any right now the way the car's set up. I think that the stage two is the way to go, or even maybe stage three if you want a little bit more with the supercharger. Um, but the, but changing engines is something I just don't do anymore. I, I think it kind of takes away from the car, it takes the value from the car. It's very hard to do, very hard to sell a car with a, an aftermarket engine in it. Men bilen bör vi bara gå 8 miles per hour. That's it. So we're set. We can do that easy. Oh, it's fun to cruise it up the coast. Uh, you know, go down PCH. Got to get a lot of reactions around there. What's really fun though is when I come off the freeway. You know, sometimes when I'm doing gigs up in LA, I'll come off the freeway right at Disneyland. You know, you get all the tourists around Disneyland. They always kind of freak out. They're from people all over the world. They probably think everybody in, in California drives movie cars, you know. It's kind of fun to see it. Efter en cruise i närområdet tar vi och stannar till vid ett köpcentrum. Den vill visa den sjuka uppståndelse de här bilarna alltid drar med sig. De ser inte bara ut som magneter, de är faktiskt det också. 
Ibland så pass att det blir riktigt farligt. Oh, people go crazy. You got people hanging out windows, taking pictures and so far I've only caused one accident up at, up at Golden Gate Park. I had a tour bus just looking at the car so much you actually ran into another car. Um, but other than that everybody's come close but I haven't caused any other accidents since. Uh, well, I'm delivering water across the street and I saw this DeLorean sitting here. I had to come check it out. It looks incredible. Looks just like from the movie and I love all the Back to the Future movies. Which movie is your favorite? Uh, the first one. Got to stay classic. Got to go with the first one. Someday I'd like to have one. I've seen I've seen a couple. It's a little slow for my liking, but still a beautiful car. You know you can tune them. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can you can always make them go faster. So <laughs> as soon as you hit 88, you're you're going back. So I'd love to have one in my driveway someday. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? 